Okay, so I've been outside for about 15 minutes now and I have to say it is freaking cold this morning. But at least it seems like we are about to have some beautiful weather today. And so I figured this might be a perfect opportunity for me to show you around and basically show you what is it like to be here in December and if it's even worth visiting at this time of the year. So welcome back to another video from Iceland. It is 4th of December as I'm filming this video, which means that we are slowly but surely getting closer to the shortest day of the year. At the moment we average around 5 hours of daylight and it will go all the way down to approximately 4 hours by 22nd of December. We've got around minus 10 degrees Celsius today and according to forecast temperatures could fall to even minus 20 by the end of the week. So unlike a normal person, I cannot drive up to my place because of how steep the hill is and the snow and ice and all that. But uh, there's one advantage and that's when I'm coming back to my car, I get to ski down. We just had a little snowstorm that brought us finally some fresh snow. It is a second year in a row now that we are seeing a very slow start of the winter, which is quite different to otherwise very snowy Decembers that I experienced here years before that. One of the things that really stand out for me the most is the ever-present feeling of slow paced life, especially in small towns and normally busy tourist places, which are now often completely empty. I will go as far as saying that December in Iceland is the best month for anyone looking to escape distractions of everyday life and loud streets of big cities. Okay, so it is around noon right now and it is already pretty bright. It's actually getting brighter around 10 o'clock I would say and I mean it's not the best, but still at least it's not a complete darkness. But that's also the thing of living here in northern part of Iceland, because we have these mountains that are surrounding us. And so because the sun is sitting so low on the horizon, it won't really reach over those mountains anymore. But still, I mean, it can have its advantages and especially for photography, because you get this mixture of like uh, dark orange and these shades of blue and it looks pretty spectacular. If you are thinking about visiting Iceland in December, I must be honest, this definitely isn't the easiest time of the year to travel here. It is in my opinion mainly because of these short days that we get, which 4-5 to five hours of daylight isn't much if you want to see quote unquote everything and do the popular drive around the whole island. But I think that this is simply the best month for anybody who can afford to take things easy, come here with no expectations and probably spend long evenings just hunting for northern lights or soaking in hot springs. Okay, so here is a couple of short tips that I can give you and I guess this is something that could probably apply to all of the winter months. What I would personally do is to plan your days according to the daylight hours. Because you always need to drive quite a long distances here to get from point A to point B and road conditions can be often tricky. And so I think it just makes sense to focus on maybe one or two regions and not the whole island. Because remember you only have like 5 hours of daylight and this way you can at least spend most of your precious time exploring rather than sitting in the car. Same thing goes for hot springs. They are amazing no matter what time. But I think especially in December you should leave them for the end of the day.
when it comes to places to visit in December, it is pretty much the same as in the summer. You can access pretty much anything, it just needs to be close to the main road or at least close to some maintained road. Waterfalls, black sand beaches, craters, geothermal areas, all of these can be still visited during December. The only difference is that they have this white coat of snow on them. Which I think looks so much better for the photos than in the summer. And by the way, this right behind me, this is Siglufjordur, the place that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And the town actually is located right over there behind that ridge. And I still have an hour of light left, I think. So I'm gonna get the drone in the air and use the light as much as I can. All the negative comments and experiences, which I often read online regarding December, have one thing in common. They almost all did the same mistake of traveling here like it's a summer. They complained about amount of light, slippery roads, cold, bad weather and so on. But these are all things that are simply part of this period and so hopefully after watching this video, if you will ever come to Iceland in December or during the winter in general, you can have the advantage of truly understanding what to expect and that you have to approach your planning differently. So, it is 4 o'clock and as you can probably see, it's already getting dark. But I actually wanted to show you that it isn't too bad yet, you know, like when the weather is nice like today, you can still see, it's still good for photography, you can still travel and I mean, yeah, if it was cloudy, that would be a, probably a different story and I guess it would be uh, dark by now, but this is still good, still alright. And yeah, since we have such a nice clear sky, that also means that there is a pretty good chance of seeing some nice northern lights tonight, which is always exciting even after years of living here. December is without a doubt a very unique month to be in Iceland. Christmas decorations in towns, in combination with soft light and very short days, create this cozy atmosphere, which really needs to be experienced to fully understand. And if you enjoy these sceneries of Troll Peninsula, which is where I filmed this whole video, you can learn more about this part of Iceland in a short guide which I made recently. Thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one.